some words from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak. We're now into autumn, and I think autumn is the season when we most clearly see the year rolling around with the night drawing in and the temperature falling and the trees changing as the leaves turn colour and then slowly disappear. The seasons are the most comforting of the time sequences we live in. They're not too long, so you can see the changes and the whole cycle comes around quickly enough. But the seasons are not the only time sequence. There's the sequence of our lives, childhood and adulthood and old age, with periods of education, positions of employment taken and later relinquished, relationships and marriages, entered into, and children born and growing. There are times of growing and resting and waiting. And there's an even longer scale of time than our lives. We may call it historic time. And in this time, the world has come into being and grown to be what it is. Now, someone once said that history is over. He meant that with the end of the Cold War, there was nothing driving history forward anymore. Well, since that time, and it wasn't that long ago, history has still come up with some surprises. A better name for this longest sequence is God's time. It's the time in which the world has grown in which God has redeemed it from what was going wrong. And in this time that we see God's promise is working out. O oh God of love, present in all places and at all times, pour your spirit on every lonely heart. Have pity on those who have no human love, and be to them an ever-present help. And in the end, give them fullness of joy for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.